Alright, where, where are we going? Where, where are we going? Oh, we're going back to uh, <laughs> Massaponics. <laughs> so, last night, uh, he had to get the title this morning from the DMV. So, he put a deposit, or I put a deposit down on the car. And we're going back right now with $1,000 to go buy it. We made it home. It's another Fiesta. <laughs> Here is my new to me 2016 Fiesta ST. <laughs> so this was a commuter car. And the guy put his tools and stuff back here, I guess. But it just was never cleaned or anything like that. As you can see, I have these trims right there. But I'm gonna deep clean it now because it needs it needs to be cleaned bad. Here's underneath the little rear seat delete they made. They used tapping screws right there and held in the rail. And then it had two spacers right here, as you can see on that side. They're just like glued in place. And then it's got the sub wiring and stuff everywhere. So it definitely needs a deep clean. Uh, and they put like this tar mat stuff down for sound deadening, I guess. Right, now time to put everything in the trash. And there is a lot of change getting some money back. <laughs> I had to take the seats out on this one. It was just too scary. All right, driver's side is done. Uh, I could spend some more time on it, but it's gonna get dirty again. I just wanted it better, and it's looking a whole lot better. Uh, passenger side's not too bad, so I'm gonna hit that now, then do the mats and clean the seats up. And I, I got to wipe down all the plastics in here and then re-vacuum for whatever falls on the ground. And then I'll be good. Everything inside has been wiped down. Uh, it needs to be done again, but I just wanted it a little bit better for now. I don't have, I'm at, I'm at my mom's house and I don't really have the best supplies. It's all back together and 40% clean. Now time to wash the exterior. All right, guys. Good thing I have two Fiestas because I need to take the back seats out of this one. Gotta start it. So I'm taking the back seats out of this one and putting it, and you can't see it, but putting them in my other one because I don't have back seats in that one. No more holy floor mat in my nice one. Stepped on that. Oh, still gotta put the bottom in. There we go. Now it's a proper car. The reason I went with the Fiesta for a daily was because just how fun they are. They're real nimble cars. Um, they're tiny, so you can drive them in the city and park and stuff like that, and they fit almost anywhere. And they're just fun to throw around gas mileage is great on these um i've been i drove it for like a week straight and i uh, calculated my mpgs for every time i filled up and with me like trying to get the best gas mileage i could i averaged around 38 mpgs which is really good for a performance car all right so here's first gear handling on these is just really good when you go around turns it just feels like it's on rails it's a really well handling car for what it is i mean uh, there's not many newer cars in the price range of what you can get these for that compare to these really in like in terms of in terms of enjoyment for dollars spent i guess in my opinion yeah aftermarket support there's a good amount of parts for these uh, the engines are pretty reliable, they're pretty stout, they can hold power uh, decently uh, out of a 1.6, it's pretty interesting. The transmissions, uh, they seem to hold up, I don't know, people have different experiences with the engine and transmissions, but I mean my last one it held up fine, 
and every, all my friends, like my, my buddies, has held up fine. It's just, I don't know, might be how you take care of it or something. Or if you're just always eating on it, I don't know. I trust it to throw an extra 100, 150 horsepower at it and it hold it, so. stock turbo my last one it had the gtx 2860 on it and it was great it pulled hard i had the the four port fueling as well and it was on e30 so it was pushing good power it was fast but the stock it, it took away the stock turbo spool because that one spooled at like 4,000 for a full boost so it was a big difference in spool and it, it kind of like took away from what this car was for that one i just wanted to go like full power i wanted to be able to beat scat packs and stuff like that even though i don't really race so i don't know what i was thinking but uh, i just wanted to like you know i, I paid that car i had like less than ten thousand dollars in and it's a newer car and it, it's beating scat packs and stuff like that so I, I just wanted like that aspect of it um but this one i, I just want stock and fun and how the car was like supposed to be enjoyed i think if you it, definitely if you haven't driven a fiesta st uh or if you don't really know anything about them I, I would like look into them a little bit and drive them uh there was not many of them made as they get older it's going to be harder and harder to find them so that's why you know, i bought this one because i have uh, just been looking for one and this was a good deal so i was like man i gotta jump on it yeah, I believe there was like 30 to 35,000 of them made in North America, so that is, that, that's hardly any. For the amount made, the, there's just not a lot of these out there. So, I mean, getting down the line, you know, a lot of them have been wrecked. Uh, there, there's some always for sale on Copart and stuff like that. Like, I have a totaled one, and they're, they're just, it's going to be harder and harder to find um, a decent one. Another thing that drove me to buy this one was... It, it's, it was all stock and it's two owners uh, and they were they were brothers the owners so it was really like a one owner but um yeah it's all stock all original never been modified and, and most of them i see people on the groups every day they're like what mod should i do what mod should i do even though every single mod's been talked about they always just post like hey, should i get this intake and th there's write-ups on every single part for these cars there's not a whole ton of parts but every single part's been done and done to death so all the information's out there but still every day people are just like oh should i do this what, what's this and all they have to do is like look up a link to it or something and all the information's right there but everybody who gets one of these they just want the more power and they just want to put some mods on it so every single one has like an exhaust on there or something like that so it, it's going to be harder to find one where it's never been touched like this one you can't tell me nothing. Uh-uh, you can't tell me nothing. Alright, so that's it for the Fiesta. Um, it really needs nothing besides like a oil change and transmission fluid change. Um, but it runs really solid, needs nothing. I think I'm just going to keep it as stock and just daily it how it is keep it how it is and just enjoy it ho 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 ian who wants presents wow. <laughs> all right wait a second wait a second uncle ian uncle ian dropped off a lot of packages for fiesta parts for some reason yeah, I think we're gonna have fun with it. <laughs> Parked up outside in the old school. The new me back with the OU. The dog always finds his way back home, and it's so true.